Well, I think we'll work on this old girl today. I think we're going to change carburetor. I think we're going to put some oil in it. And I swear by that stuff. Without further ado, here we go, guys. Let's jump into it. What's up, everybody? It's David here at Smitty's Garage on a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, God, that sunset's coming down, guys. Hey, I want to welcome y'all Smitty's today. I want to thank y'all for being here. We're going to try to keep this video a little short. And with a little luck, we might just be able to ride this old girl today. Let's get into it. Uh, I reckon the first order of business here. Let's go and finish taking that nasty old carburetor out. Put some oil in here. i uh, get with y'all when we get that. Like I said, I'm hoping to get her today. Let's get it. I think the first order of business here is we're going to go on and get this oil changed. I've already drained the oil, so let's go on with the new. You get the drain plug put in right here. It takes a 10 millimeter. Got that. We're going the right way, guys. She's in there. Pull the drain plug. Set it up here. And let's get some fresh oil in there. Got the oil. Got the marvel. Got the funnel. Let's go to town. Let's get this oil in here. We get that done. We can whip that carburetor out. I don't know about y'all, but this is the fourth series on this thing. I fully intended on being done with it last time but yeah, that carburetor had a different plan so sometimes you just got to go with what life throws your way whether you like it or not uh, if you fight it don't be rough make it the best we can right guys I'm gonna start off with about three quarters of a quart this is a smaller motor Three quarters is going to be kind of close. Just a tad bit more. Alright. So that took it right there. If I pull it out, that's going to be it. Ain't got no room for no marvel. Well, I'm okay if it drains a little bit because I want some marble in here. My lids, man, are child proof, guys. Child proof. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Get it in there. Alrighty. Stick that in. Done deal. Well, this ain't too bad, you know. This is kind of a standard little feel. So, hey, look at that. Just like that, guys. We changed the oil. Put our caps on because I really don't want to spill my stuff. Alrighty. So, we got fresh oil in there. So, uh, let's get resituated and we'll change this carburetor out. So I'm just going to walk y'all in real quick on what I'm fixing to do here. Sorry, guys. I'm going to remove this handle. That's your choke. I'm going to pinch my gas line, and I'm going to take it off. And then I'm going to remove this from the carburetor. From there, we'll pull the carburetor off. We'll pull the old gasket off. We'll put the new gasket on, the new carburetor on. We'll hook the fuel line up, and we'll put a choke assembly on there. Then we'll put the new gasket up front, we'll put the housing on, and then two 10 millimeter nuts. Suck that in and remove the vice grips off of the gas line. From there, we should be able to try it. Mm. 
Got that old one off. Y'all know what I think about this. Trash. Let's go in with the new one now, guys. Let's go in with the new one. All right, I got this new, got a new carburetor here. Got a brand new one. Let me get out of y'all's way. Honestly, I didn't even have to clamp the, the fuel line because, well, we all know where all the fuel went last time. So, got this gasket on here. See, looks. Ah, boy, it is on there too, guys. I almost don't want to mess with that, to be honest with you. Let's just peep how the new one looks. The new gasket. Oh, I like this much better. We got us a black choke. Get rid of that crap. Got our two gaskets here. Uh-oh. You know, I got to hand it to them. We got some jets in here. Give me just a minute. I'm going to pop this off. I'm going to make sure this thing's assembled before we go together. Because, uh, man, I don't want to put this together and it not be assembled. I don't know if y'all see it, but it's assembled. It came that way. That's just extra parts. Coolio. Let's get this together and get put on. Alrighty, but real quick before we finish going back together. We got our fuel line hooked back up. Got our throttle hooked up and we got the return spring hooked up. I got the new choke lever on there. And got a new gasket here on it. I'm gonna put this box on. I'm gonna get the breather on. Gotta put some gas in. And then we're gonna Oh man. Don't you love it when you run out of gas? Hopefully there was enough in there. We shall see. Alright guys, so I cheated just a wee little bit. Um Let's fire it up and let's let it run for a minute. Y'all can see uh, uh, I already fired it up, guys. I, I kid the candy store, man. Let's fire it up. Let's test this throttle cable out. That works. Then I'm going to close y'all out for just a minute. I'm going to put that seat on there and we're going to try to ride this thing today. Let's wrap it up, man. Woo! That kill switch. Put the choke on. Let's see how she goes. Bam, baby, bam. Take the choke off. See if the brake works. Brake works. That's telling me the clutch is working too. Now let's go for the throttle cable. this today guys it's dark and I don't know how this is going to work I hope y'all can kind of see me I'm going to try to ride it I had the headlight on so y'all can kind of see where I am but uh, it ain't but one way to find out right kill switch uh, choke
Y'all see all that smoke on there? I'm gonna turn this gas off just for safe practices. So the reason why she's got a lot of smoke is, is I have got some Marvel Mystery Oil in the gas, a kind of a real heavy mix, and I didn't have but maybe 20 ounces of gas in that can. So um, I believe this is going to live. I got a few odd and end things, but uh, you know what? You know, I need to tighten the seat up on it. Um, still got to put this clutch cover on there and zip tie up the, the cables and stuff like that. But, man, shoot. I'm just thrilled that uh, this little repair job because that's pretty much what it was i did this on a repair um not this but i did a repair on that on that um generator and i got this bike for free so i got this bike for free guys um i got twenty dollars on a carburetor and lift tax and shipping twenty five dollars on a throttle cable so I've got $45 in this bike the market for them here in this area is used is running between $350 and $500 because brand new they're running around $800, $900 so I think we can shine this old girl up and uh so that's a wrap guys Hey, listen, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I know it's dark and can't really see real well, but I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me. Thank y'all for us wrapping this thing up. And we got to ride it. That's a wrap, guys. I hope y'all learned something. I know I learned something. Listen, guys, as always, the grind never ends. Like, share, comment, leave me a thumbs down, guys. It's all good. It's all love, man. From Myth Whip. And from the Smitty's Garage, thank y'all. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out of here. Would you look at that? Smoke's cleared up. Running smooth.